Lower body mayhem. I always, uh, it, like, I always make sure, I try to always make sure I eat before I work out, but especially on a leg day. May mayhem, mayhem is such a strong word, but uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's gonna be serious. So listen up, my beautiful people out there. Uh, we're gonna mix it up a little bit today. So Ebony is physically going to be doing the workout. I'm gonna be training Ebony, so I will not be physically working out. I have a uh, knee issue i don't want to call it injury yet but um my knee is not going to hold up too well today so uh basically i'm just going to, i'm going to be coaching everybody i'm going to be coaching coach eb directly and you know you guys are going to get the benefit of you know kind of what it feels like doing an actual uh, session in the gym or wherever you know you wherever you're training so um yes yes let the mayhem begin. <laughs> it's 2 Let's do this. So let's get it. So everybody should have your towel. You should have uh, a bottle of water, a glass of water nearby in case you need that. Um, I mean, you don't have to have a mat unless you're outside someplace, you know, in a park or something. But if you're in your living room or something, well, maybe you got a hard floor. Yeah, you might need a mask, so, okay. Dumbbells are optional. You might want to use them, though, if you have them. Having a, yeah, having a, we'll, we'll, we'll need two dumbbells for the deadlifts. Uh, but, you know, just a plain, regular set of dumbbells is all you need. So, you ready to warm up, Coach? I sure am. All right, so we're going to start this warm up, guys, with the uh, Superman, or in her case, a Superwoman. So, She's going to go ahead and just lay flat and uh, extend her arms out. One second. One second. I just wanted to touch my screen and make sure it didn't fall asleep. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to extend the arms out. We're going to raise the arms and the legs up. And we're just going to go back and forth. We'll hold it for maybe two seconds in the up position and then drop back down just like that. And also notice that she's she has her chin down. She doesn't have her head up, so that's good form. Good form, Coach. Thanks. There you go. That's it. So we're just warming up that uh, back area. The glutes are getting hit as well. Um, the shoulders, you know, because you have your arms extended out. There you go. All right, now, Coach, I want you to hold this next one. I want you to hold it up. Freeze it right there. There you go. Make sure you keep breathing. Keep breathing and relax. Relax, 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 relax. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that again, Coach. Stay right there. Let's do that again real quick. We're going to do that again. Okay. I like them Supermans. All right, let's hit it again. There you go. Yep. Hold it for a couple of seconds and bring it back down. Now go ahead and go back and forth for me. Yep. Back. There you go. That's it. We're uh, creating a lot of heat in that lower back area. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Good. Couple more. That's it. One more and we're going to freeze it. Hold it right there. There you go. Deep breath, deep breaths, and relax. Good. Go ahead and flip over, Coach. Ugh. We're going to go right into some glute bridges. Okay. Got, got a little towel action. Good. Camera angle looking good. All right. Okay, hands on the floor, and we're just going to push those hips up toward the sky and touch the floor and come back up. There you go. Good. Good squeeze. That's it. That's the kind of form we're looking for right there. Now, guys, make sure that when you come up, when you're at the top, make sure you squeeze those glutes tight now. Just like squeezing your fist. Okay. All right. Now, Coach, I want you to hold the next one at the top. 
Freeze it right there. There you go. Keep breathing. Glutes are tight. And relax, relax. Stay right there. We're going to run through that again. Okay. You feeling warm yet? You feel, feeling a little bit of heat yet? I'm feeling a burn in my glutes. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Up to the sky, touch the floor. There you go. Good push. That's it. And getting those glutes nice and warm. There you go. Getting a good stretch. Okay. All right, we're going to hold this next one at the top. Freeze it. There you go. And relax. Good. Yeah, All right. So, yeah, I, I know there's a little bit of a little bit of a fire, you know. So. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna hit these uh, squat reaches yet. So, uh, if, we're just gonna jump into it, and you just as you see what Ebony is doing, you just join in. So you're gonna hold that squat position at the bottom, and she's gonna turn and reach up to the sky, and she's gonna alternate sides while remaining in the squats. This is heat right here. There you go. Yeah, so when you reach up, you got that full turn. Stretching out those obliques, those abs, and of course the, the legs are on fire. Well, not for, not for you, because you, you know, you're in good shape, you know. I like to think so. Yeah, this this is just a little easy warm up for you. No big deal. Okay, a couple more. We're gonna relax. One more. Okay, and relax. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. Now, there you go. A little little side to side movement. Okay. All right, let's run through that again real quick. Okay, now as you're doing this, you know, keep your core nice and tight. Yep, warm is everything. There you go. Look like you know what you're doing. I try. <laughs> That's a good reach. Good stretch at the top. Reach up as high as you can. There you go. Yep. Okay, let's do two more. Big reach, one last reach. Good, shake it off, shake it off. Stand her up, man. We're getting ready to go into some good old air squats. All right. There's some full air, full body squats. So this is your first set of squats for the day. So make sure you, you know, you take your time, no hurry. Okay, we just want to work into it. All right. Uh, no weight is necessary. Put your hands wherever they're comfortable. And let's get it. There you go. Good. Nice and easy. Sit down as, as low as you can in that squat. There you go. Good. There you go. Good form. Thanks. Keep your abs nice and tight. All right, we're gonna freeze this next one at the bottom, right there, hold it. There you go, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, 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 relax. We told you all it was, it was lower body mayhem. Total mayhem, this is only the warm up. We ain't even hit the, right. <laughs> we ain't even hit the real stuff yet, so. All right, let's do it again. Okay, abs tight. Stay tight. Okay, let's get it. That's it. You should be able to get a little bit lower this time on that second time around. Good. That's it. There you go. That's a good pace right there. We here to work this morning. Always. No games are being played. All right, let's pause this next one at the bottom. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! 
Four bags. There you go. Okay. All right. So we heating up now. We, you know, if you got a little sweat trickling down your your forehead, that's what we want. <laughs> you might be doing something right. That means that you're warming up. So our last warm up movement, we're gonna do some leg swings, uh, just to kind of stretch out the hamstrings a little bit. Now be careful on these. Uh, don't be trying to kick too high. Right. <laughs> we don't want you pulling nothing on the warm up. So do what you're capable of doing. All right, let's let's knock out ten on that right side here. Yeah. There you go. So we're just swinging that leg up, stretching the hamstring out. Don't kick higher than you're able to. There you go. Five more. Five. Four, looking good. Three, yep. Two, last one. We're going to switch to the other side. Okay. Abs are still tight. You know, we're just getting a nice little stretch. That's it. There you go. Five more. Five. Four. Get it. Three. Get it. Two. And last one. Relax. How you feel? Warm. <laughs> All right, so before we get into the actual uh, first little uh, super set, get you a quick swig, wipe the sweat. Remember, as always, if you're not able to do a particular exercise, if you're not able to keep up with the number of reps, that's okay. You do what you can do. Um, but you push yourself. You know, there's a difference between being tired and, and being, like, hurt or injured, you know. You can push through the fatigue. Um, if you feel an injury, if you feel like something is, is hurt, that's a whole different thing. So you don't want to push through pain, but you can, you can push through fatigue. So, all right. So this first superset, we're going to be doing three exercises back to back. We're going to be doing pulse squats. We're going to knock out 25 reps of pulse squats. Um, we're going to do 20 sumo squats. And then just for kicks, we're going to throw in 15 reverse lunges. So you're going to get very little rest between those actual exercise, uh, between each movement, I should say. And we'll be doing three rounds of those supersets that I just described. So uh, if you didn't catch all that, don't worry about it. I'm going to walk you through everything anyway. So let's start with uh, the pulse squats. Make sure you have a nice, comfortable uh, squat position. Uh, if you want to use a dumbbell with your with your pulse squats, that's fine. If you rather not, that's that's up to you. Um, you ready, Coach? I'm ready. All right, so we got 25 reps. So we're going to be she's going to be going down to a squat, and we're going to be you'll see she's going to be pulsing. Let's go. Let's get it. One. There you go. Two. Three. That's it. Just like that. Five. Work it. It ain't easy. Ten. Fifteen. It's kicking in now. Come on. You got it. Twenty. And twenty-five. Relax. Yeah. 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 If you're doing that right, you should definitely feel that burn right here in your quad. Now, if you can't quite, if you can't go quite as low as she did with your pulse, that's fine. If your pulse has got to be a little bit higher in the squat, that's cool. You do what you got to do. The whole point is to get those reps in. Okay. Uh, we're going to the sumo squats. Now, let's talk about that sumo squat form a little bit. Um, the sumo squat, your, your stance is much wider. You know, those, uh, we can't quite see your, your feet. Let's, let's yeah, I'll down. down. Yeah, let's show them the form on that sumo squat so they know uh, what to do on that. All right. I think you can see my feet now if I step back. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so that sumo squat, you got a nice wide stance. You know, the toes are out further than normal. And the sumo squat is going to 
it's going to focus a little bit more on that inner thigh than regular squats do. So, all right, say that energy, say that energy. All right. So again, if you want to use a weight, you can do that. If, if you'd rather not, that's, that's your choice. We got 20 reps. Let's go, coach. All right, let's get it. We got 20. There you go. Nice and low. Yep. That's it. That's five. Looking good. Yeah. Got that fire. Got that fire. That's 10. If I count maybe one off, it don't matter. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Looking good. All right. That's 15. Come on. Five more. Five. Four. Looking good. Three. Two. And last one. Good. All right. Let's go right into those reverse lunges. Okay, so we're doing a total of 15, so we're just stepping back, uh, going in a, a reverse lunge, alternating on each leg for a total of 15 reps. All right, let's get it. One, there you go. Two, good form. There you go. Three, yep. Abs are nice and tight. Four, big step back. Five, that's it. Six. Seven, come on, we halfway there. Feel that burn. Eight, nine, ten. Come on, five more. Looking good. Three, last two. And good. Shake it off. Shake it off. All right, y'all. I ain't gonna let y'all rest too long. I'm, I'm gonna give you about. I'm gonna give you about thirty to forty seconds, and we right back into that superset. A good thirty seconds. Yeah, I'm going to keep that rest short. It's, it's a lot easier to keep the rest short when you're not actually doing the workout. Tell me about it. <laughs> that is very true. Hey, I'm in trainer mode today, y'all. Y'all, look, I'm in full-blown trainer mode. Mm -hmm. All right, get a drink, wipe the sweat. Let's go, Coach. Come on. Let's go. We're going back to the pulses. Remember... If you can't do your 25 pulses in the deep squat, that's fine. Do what you can do. As long as you get your 25, that's what matters. All right, let's hit it. 25 reps. There you go. Two. Yeah. Five. Looking good. That's it. Ten. You got this. 15, I'm smelling smoke. 20, last five. Four, three, two, yeah, relax, champ, relax. Mm. Well, don't relax all the way because you ain't got much time. We got, we got sumos. All right. <laughs> Look, the, the, rest, the rest you get is the transition. That's all you get. All right, now. I'll let you. I'll let you beat me up next week. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get those sumos. All right. All right. Remember, nice wide stance. Turn those toes out. We got twenty reps. Let's get it. There you go. This is how you get those legs right. That's five. Looking good. Everything is tight. There you go. That's that's ten, halfway there. Yeah. This is money right here. That's fifteen. Come on, five more. Last two. Yeah. That's what's up. Shake it out. How y'all feeling out there? How y'all feeling out there on the internet? <laughs> Let me know what's going on. You know, I like a little fire emoji. How them legs feeling? <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask that question after these reverse lunges. Let's go. We got we to gotta stay with it. All right. All right. Now, make sure when you step back into a lunge, you basically want your legs to be at a 90-degree angle. Actually, both of your legs should be at 90 degrees. So 
You don't want to step back too far, but you got to step back far enough. Let's get it. Got it. Good. I like that. Two. Yeah, we alternating legs. Three. There you go. Four. Get it. Five. Six. Get that money. Eight. Nine. Come on, we almost there. We got five, five more. Yeah, finish off, finish it off. Two more. And relax. Ooh, I, I saw that. You see me almost tip over? I saw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I saw that stumble. It's all good. That's called fatigue. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to give y'all like a, a strong 45 seconds. So that's two rounds. We got one more round of those to do before we go to the next superset. So yeah. this is this is the time to take a seat, get off your feet real quick, get some water, and uh, do your crying if you need to. <laughs> Did it go black? <laughs> I used to tell my clients, like, there ain't no crying in the gym. You can cry in the parking lot. Right. You, you can cry in the locker room if you want to. Ain't no crying in the gym. Ain't no crying doing the workout. Don't cry here. You cry, you got to get some burpees. <laughs> That'll really make you cry even more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might have to figure out what's going on with this knee, though. Yeah. You probably need to uh, do some stretching. Probably do some yoga. Get some, um, you know what I use? I use, um. This all natural CBD oil, you know, it's good for aches and pains. I use it on my knee every so often. Well, I got to figure out what it is first before I try to treat it. Yeah. All right. Third and final round. 25 pulse squats. Let's get it. Let's go to work. All right. Ain't no tapping out. Let's go. Give me 25. That's it. Start your Sunday morning off right. That's 10 right there. There you go. I got you. That's 15. There you go. 20. Get it now. And relax. Good stuff. Good work. Good work. Sumos. Let's go. Sumo. I could train you for real. Let's go. 20 reps. There you go. That's it. Get that money. Five. Looking good. Stay focused. There you go. That's 10. Come on. We halfway there. Killing it. That's 15, last five. No more sumo. There you go, one more. And relax, good. You're doing it. First lunges with some dumbbells this time. Okay. Let's get it. When you're doing your lunges, guys, just to help with your balance, it's, it's always good to just Look straight ahead, find something to focus your, your vision or your eyes on, stare at it the whole time. Uh, you don't want to look down when you're doing your lunges. Um, that'll kind of help you with your balance. All right, last 15 lunges of the day. Let's get it. There you go. Good. Keep that 90 degrees. Two. Oh, that's three. Four. Messing my count up. Five, <laughs> six, there you go. Seven, come on, you got this. Eight, nine, ten, last five right here. Five, four, mayhem. Three, mayhem. Two, <laughs> and one. Shake it off, coach. Shake it off, man. All right, y'all get a full minute break on this one now. Spend it how you want to. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it because uh, it goes by quick. <laughs> yes.
Yeah, so uh, guys, if you need to grab your mat, go ahead and do that now also because the next superset, uh, a couple of the movements are going to be from the floor. So if you don't have your mat out, go ahead and grab that real quick. Uh, you're definitely going to need uh, a set of dumbbells because we're going to be throwing in some deadlifts as well. So make sure you got all your toys. All the toys. As we recover from that first try super set. <laughs> right. That try set. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, it was super though. Yes, it was. And just so y'all know, if you, you know, superset just basically, if you, if you don't already know, a superset is just doing exercises back to back, basically with no rest. So right. uh, that's kind of what we, what we tried to do. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I was going to say, in those moves that you put in the superset, they can work the same muscle groups or they can target different muscle groups. So with those three moves, just now we targeted our quads mainly, but... You can do a super set. You can target your quads. Then you could do something that targets your hamstrings and then go back to your quads. So they can target different muscle groups, the moves that you do. Right. Okay. What's that? Let's get it. So we're going to start off this first. We got, we got three. Again, we got three movements. We got single leg bridges. You'll be laying on your back. Then we have something called marching bridges, which we'll demonstrate. And then the third exercise will be uh, deadlift. So uh, we're going to – go ahead. Can you see me? Uh, yeah, I can see. Okay. Yeah. I think those comments are kind of in the way. I'm going to move it down to the ground so you can see me even more. I think that will be better. All right, so we're going to start with uh, single leg bridges. That's good. That's good right there. That's it? Yeah. We're going to start with single leg bridges. We're going to extend one leg up into the air. And we'll do our 10 bridges on that side, and then we'll switch. Okay, so we got one leg up. Let's get it. There we go. Two, yeah. Three, still squeezing the glutes at the top. A five, six. Seven, looking good. Eight, nine, and ten, good. Let's switch sides. Machine playing around, right into it. There you go. There you go, good. One more. Good. Okay. Woo! That's a great hamstring move right there. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go into um, marching uh, bridges as soon as, coach gets, as soon as coach gets back on the map. <laughs> All right. So do a quick demonstration of the marching bridges so everybody knows what we're talking about. Okay. So... All right, so we're alternating legs. We're just bringing those knees up toward the chest or the head area. Okay, you go ahead and stop. All right, so we got a total of 25 of those. You ready, Coach? 25? Okay, yeah. All right, let's get it. There you go. There you go. Nice pace, yeah. Four, looking good. Five. You got this. There you go. That's ten. Come on, get it. Yeah. We have fifteen. You got ten more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Love it. Three, come on. Two, and relax. That's what's up. Deadlifts. Let's go. On your feet, champ. Uh, On your feet. I don't want to hear that. Let's go. Uh, Lower body mayhem. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, guys, grab a set of dumbbells. Okay. And before uh, – 
just to kind of give another quick demo, uh, go ahead and stand up, Ed. When you're doing your, your deadlifts, you want to make sure that your feet are hip width apart. It's not a squat, so you're not going to be shoulder width. Your feet are going to be hip width apart, and you're basically using your hip as a hinge. So just in, uh, visualize setting the weights on the tops of your shoes, and you're keeping that back nice and level as you bend over. You do not bend your knees. Your knees don't go out. Um, there's going to be a natural bend in your knees anyway, but you definitely want to make sure your back is flat and those abs stay nice and tight. Okay, let's get it. We got 15 reps, guys. Let's get this money. Yep. All right, weights are in front. There you go. Just like that. Push the hips back. Yep. Three, good. Yeah, when you're down in that deadlift, I should be able to set a glass on your back, and it should be level. Good. No cat back. That's it. There you go. We're going to call this one 10. This is 9. <laughs> you, ain't have to, you ain't have to correct me. Five more. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, three more. Looking good. Yeah. One more. Good. All right, relax, relax. Get a quick drink, quick drink. And another thing with the deadlifts is make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top. So you come down, when you come up, squeeze your glutes. Okay? Build the booty. Those <laughs> hey, build is not build a bear, it's build a booty. Build a booty. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the, the bridges and the deadlifts, of course, are targeting your, your glutes, your hamstring area, mm -hmm. you know, that lower back area, you know, so um, you got to make sure that you have balance, you know, muscle balance and balance in the body. You don't want to just do. Um, squats all the time you yeah. know you want to make sure that you you don't want to just work the muscles that you can see when you when you face the mirror you want to hit those muscles those other muscles uh as well so and especially for women i know a lot of women think that like for people who are trying to lift their booty a lot of people think that oh if i just do squats that'll work no you need to do movements that you know like you said with the back of your legs too so your hand needs your glutes so that's where your glute bridges your deadlifts your reverse lunges things like that come into play okay you can't Absolutely. do squat thinking that's going to enhance your or lift your booty okay and and uh and for guys you know we're we not we're not working on our on our butts but um we still we got glutes just like y'all so they need to be strong as well all right back into the uh single leg bridges Back on the mat, we got uh, 20, yeah, we got 20. Okay, 10 on each side, extend that leg up in the air. And let's get this money. There you go, yeah. Drive those hips up. There you go, that's five, come on, looking good. Yeah. Two, one more. We're going to switch it up. You know, my, my count be off sometimes. It's okay. It definitely is. Hey, I'm doing the training here. You got you to do what I say. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get that other side. There you go. Yeah, get that squeeze at the top. Four. That's five. Come on, halfway there. Eight, two more. Looking good. And relax. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I'm just going to give you about 10, 15 seconds. We're going to go into those marching bridges. Okay. We got 25 of them now. Nothing y'all can't handle, though. All right. Let's get it. Hips up. All right, we alternate legs now. Bring those knees up. 
That's five. Looking good. We got ten. Come on, we're we getting there. It's burning. Come on, that's fifteen. Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Looking good. Four. Finish. Three. Two. Finish. And relax. Relax. I think I smell a little bit of smoke. I think you might. Just a little bit of smoke. All right, deadlifts. Let's go. Grab your dumbbells. Keep those abs tight. Feet hip width apart. Back nice and level. Let's get it. 15 reps. Nice and easy. No rush. There you go. Three. You got it. Perform. Feeling this all in the hamstring. Hey, there you go. Come on, that's 10. We got five more. Five. Four, get that money. Three, that's it. Two. And one. Good. Relax, relax. Two rounds down. One round to go. So we are quickly approaching the end of this workout. So we got one more round of this tri-set. And then we have um, something that we call a finisher. And uh, uh, we'll, I'll let you know what that is when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> you say? No, I was thinking about that old video game where they, was that Mortal Kombat? What did, what did I say? At the end, when you're about to kill your opponent, it would say, finish him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you feel? <laughs> I guess, I guess my, my age is showing a little bit. I don't know. I, I don't know if y'all know y'all know about Mortal Kombat or not. I don't know what Mortal Kombat is. I ain't that young. Yeah, yes you are. Okay. All right, this is the third and final round of the tri-set. We got this back to the single leg bridges. Let's get this done so we can get to the finisher. All right, Eb, I know you're feeling it. It's kicking in right now, but you, 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 you've had a great workout. Let's finish this thing strong now. Yeah, let's do it. All right, single leg. Let's go. Woo. Yeah. That's it. Good push. Four. Love it. That's five. Halfway there. Yeah, these these hurt a little bit. Two more. There you go. Switch it up. Other leg. Come on, guys. Don't give up. We're getting toward the end here. Do what you can. Do your best. There you go. Hey, come on, last two right here. That's what's up. Let's march it out. Let's march it out. We ain't got to wait. Let's march it out now. Come on, we're at the end. This is the finale right here. Three, get it. Five. That's it. We had 10 right there. You look like you do these all the time, you know? You look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Come on, that's 15. There you go. Come on, that's 20. Come on, five more. Four, three, yep. Yep, one more. Mmm. Come on, deadlifts. Let's go. I'm going to let you rest after these deadlifts. Come on. You got this. Green skirt. All right, guys. Come on. Let's get these deadlifts. I know you're breathing hard. Stuff is sore. 
boots are on fire, hammies are tightening up a little bit. You got it. There you go. That's fine. Keep those abs tight. There you go. Come on, finish it off. Come on, last five deadlifts of the day. Five, four, three, two, and last one. You got this. Relax, champ. Relax. Don't relax too much, but relax. Yeah. <laughs> You're killing this workout. That's a good one. You, you ain't gonna let the workout kill you. You you better than that. I know. Oh, for sure. I so while while everybody's catching their collective breath, let me just talk about the finisher real quick. So um, we're gonna be doing. Uh, I forgot what the finisher is. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing lunges, but we're gonna be doing pulses in the lunge for ten reps. And then we'll switch to the other side. So we'll start on one side. We'll do ten pulses, just like we did the ten pulse, uh, just like we did the pulse squat at the beginning. We're going to be doing pulse lunges, and then we'll go to if you're able, we're going to jump out of that into the other side. If you can't do the jump, don't worry. All you got to do is just switch sides without jumping. So. Uh, Give them a real quick uh, demo, Eb, on the um, – just do like, three pulse, do, like, three pulses on one side and then jump into the other side so they can see uh, see what's going on. Okay, so we in a lunge. Yeah. Just like that. Good. Relax. That's cool. So if you're not able to do that lunge, the jump part of it, don't worry about it. When we do our 10, just go ahead and just – step up and then do it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a total of 40. This is a finisher. This is the last thing we're going to do. We're going to be doing a total of 40 reps. So that's going to end up being 20 on each side. However, we're going to switch after we do uh, each set or after we do a set of 10. So let's go ahead and finish this thing off. All right. Let's get it. Again, if you can't lunge, if you can't pulse low in the lunge, that's fine. Just find your sweet spot and do what you can do. All right, coach, let's get it. One, there you go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, switch. You got it. Come on, we halfway there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch again, switch again, switch again. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last switch, last switch. I lied. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and relax. Man. Okay, I, I kind of threw in some extra switches at the end. My bad. <laughs> Hey, that was work right there. How, how did those uh, lun those lunges feel just now? They burn. I, I can imagine. Those things burn. About halfway well, into it. I guess we just did 60. So, yeah, about halfway into it. Around that third set of 10 is when it's like, okay. That's when it started kicking in. And then the last two sets of 10 were just fire. Yeah. Yeah. But it was good. Hey. I like to always do a finisher. 
Well, uh, I think we finished off, folks, you know. <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> Good. Yeah, those, those, last, uh, those last few sets were definitely, uh, I wasn't doing them, but I could feel it. So yeah. I, enjoy, I enjoy training you today. Thanks. I enjoy yeah. being trained. Yeah. There, there's, there's nothing like uh, just have, having that push. Right. You know, all right. So we're just doing a little bit of a, of a cool down, a little bit of a cool down, uh, so cool down stretches. You know, just to kind of loosen up those or loosen up those muscles. Well, they're already loose. That's not the right word, but you know, you always want to stretch. You know, post workout. You know, so. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, feet nice and wide, stretch those hamstrings out. If you can grab your ankle, grab your ankle. If you can grab your foot, grab your foot. Yeah, you should feel that in the back of your thigh. There you go. Woo. Yeah, definitely feel that all. Yeah, time. yeah. Go ahead and bring your feet together for me. We're going to do the same stretch. Just put your feet together. We're going to go down and, and grab, um, touch what you can touch. If you can get the floor, get the floor. There you go. Yeah. Guys, when you're stretching, you, you want to, you definitely don't want to hold your breath. You want to keep breathing. Uh, and you want to, uh, you don't want to bounce when you're doing stretches like these. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do, Ab, just take one big step forward. Just like a super lunge. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going like a super, super lunge. So um, we're just going to hold that position. Try to drop the hips as low as you can. There you go. Yeah, we put in some work today. You notice I said we. <laughs> right, we. Yeah, we put in some work today. Okay, other side, good. There you go. Way to switch them out. That's it. Drop those hips as low as you can. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Like being back in high school track. Yeah. Many moons ago. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead and stand up. Let's go back to the. Um, actually, go ahead and sit down on the floor. Because we're going we're gonna to hit those inner thighs since we did those sumo squats. So just sit on the floor and a little with your. Uh, your heels, uh, your heels together, yeah, and just kind of grab your feet and bring them in close to you. Um, if you can get your elbows inside your knees, or, your, or not your elbows, your forearms maybe, and just push out. There you go. Since we did kind of hit that inner thigh on those uh, squats. There you go. Sit up nice and tall, deep breaths. There you go. Yeah, you uh, you you did that thing today. <laughs> you did the darn thing. All right, relax, relax. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all I got for you. It's done. It's done. It's a wrap. Workout out of the way. Now you can enjoy your Sunday. Lower body mayhem was uh, a success. Yes, I would definitely say so. <laughs> yeah, mission accomplished. So, uh, our hamstrings. Yeah. Boots. Didn't really hit the calves. Uh, maybe. I don't really train calves that often. Now that I think about it, I do calf raises. Maybe like. Definitely yeah. as often as I, as I probably should. 
Yeah, I, that's I, that's about all I do. I, I'll do some standing cap races and things like that. I, I probably don't do them regularly, but uh, yeah, we might throw those in next time, you know. So, yeah. Um, so, guys, make sure that you get something to eat, you know, after after this workout. Make sure that you're drinking plenty of water um, on a daily basis, of course, you know. Make, set a goal for yourself to knock out a good two to three liters of water, you know, minimum. Um, if you do more than that, uh, that's cool. You're just, you're just going to be in the bathroom all day. <laughs> right, you're going to be back and forth. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so uh, I, hope that, I hope the workout gave you everything you wanted and more, and then some. And then some. You know, <laughs> so what we got on tap this coming up this week, Coach? Well, we have Coach Talk Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central. We have not yeah. decided on the topic yet, but you will know by, I guess, around Monday night. We try to put it out Monday night, if not Monday night, then early Tuesday. Let you guys know what to look forward to. If there, if there are any topics that you would like for us to chop up, you know, during Coach Talk, definitely let us know. Uh, it could be nutrition, exercise, um, just anything that's health and fitness related, um, you know, we're definitely willing to talk about and then some. So yes. you know, just let us, know, let us know if you got anything in particular that you want us to put on the uh, schedule. We'll be back at it again next Sunday with another workout. I think it's time we might do uh, probably some full body. I think next week is full body. Well, I tell you what, next week I'll let you train me. So uh, okay. depending on how depending on how the knee is, maybe we'll either do core or like a core upper body type thing. Okay, that sounds good. I mean, we'll see. I'll see how the knee is going during the week, but uh, yeah, I'll let you beat me up. You know, that's that. That would be fair. I think it's only right. That's only right. That's only righteous. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I like what you think. <laughs> but you know, I'm not scared, so bring it. I shall. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm, I'm not scared, so you you bring what you bring. The heat, bring the fire. I ain't scared. Two. two 200 burpees on the menu coming right up. <laughs> since, since you ain't scared. Did you say, I, I'm not scared. That's going to be a long workout, though. 200 burpees. We'll do them at intervals of 50. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how they feel about uh, 200 burpees. Uh, they I'm might, with it, though. They might, they might have to log out after that. They might be like, no, nah, I'm not coming back to this workout no more. They I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever done 50 straight burpees. Probably the most I've done consecutive is, I don't know, maybe 30, 35. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done 50 straight either. Yeah. No. If you can knock out 50 straight burpees, then you, uh, you in good shape. Oh yeah. You in really good shape. So. If I had to, could I? I probably could, but would I want to? Absolutely not. And I'm yeah, like, I wouldn't rush through them. I'm take my time, pace myself. Yeah. Well, <laughs> fifty, well, fifty burpees is is a workout by itself. That's not. Yeah. You know, so when people do fifty burpees, they might do sets of ten or fifteen and just get through it. So imagine fifty being like the first set. <laughs> right. No, thank you. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's all we got. Uh, thanks for uh, joining. Thanks for working out with us. Again, this is it's all about generational fitness. Um, so bring someone older or younger to the next workout. Bring them to Coach Talk because uh, we are dedicated. We are committed to making sure that families are healthy and families are fit. So bring your mama, bring your daddy, bring your – Bring your cousin, bring your auntie and them. Auntie and them, bring your 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 siblings, your your children. Right. You know, let's let's get let's get fit and let's stay fit and healthy together. So uh you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday and we'll see you Wednesday for Coach Talk. Yes, Wednesday night.
right, guys. Thank you so much. See you. All right. Everybody have a good one. All right. Bye.